Everybody, it was another busy day around here today. The PC, PCC kicking off with round one from Wakanda Club. Plus, with state soccer being pushed back a day, that meant that today was the official start of the tournament. Let's check out the highlights from Class 3A. We will start off with the Waukee Warriors. They are the only team in the entire state still undefeated. CJ Capella with the put in there, the Warriors, they roll past Cedar Rapids Kennedy 3 0 to reach tomorrow's semifinals. You know, we've been prepping for this all year, and it just feels good to get the result right away. And, you know, we're going to come out tomorrow and come out strong and looking for to defend our title. At the end of the day, it's just two teams playing in soccer. You know, you can have 40 shots, and the other team can have one shot, and you can lose. So we just got to make sure we're ready, and uh, we're looking forward to the rest of the tournament. We'll see if they can defend their title. Urbandale and Bettendorf, a really tight game. No score under five to play. Alan Imamovic slides hard. That gives the Bulldogs a free kick, and they connect on it. A great header puts Bettendorf on top with just little time left. So, last-ditch effort from Urbandale. Ball is skied. It's broken up. Imamovic tries to get a foot on it, but it is going to be cleared by the Bulldogs, and they hang on to win one nothing. Heartbreak for the Jayhawks. Speaking of heartbreak, Marshalltown comes into 3A tournament as a three seed. They face Cedar Rapids, Washington. It was all Warriors. They get two goals in the first half. Heck of a save here by Jesus Munoz. Keeps that ball out of the net. But the Bobcats couldn't find any offense today as they lose by a final score of three to nothing, ending their season. Finally, the Ankeny Hawks facing Iowa City West, the two seed. Ankeny gets on the board late, down 2 nothing. That ball is in the back of the net, but it is going to be called off. Instead, it's going to be a PK, which they do convert on. But that is all they would get as time ran out. Ankeny loses 2-1.